Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we are uh, finally getting into Supernatural Season 2 um, This has been a long time coming You know I'd love to talk about this show um, And we're going to get right into it with Season 2 You know, no, we're not going to take the mic here So let's get straight into it um, So usual format, the good, the bad and the ugly uh, so for the good of this series, or should I say the great, uh, there are two episodes I haven't picked out of the season um, to talk about. Um, the first one I want to talk about is season two, of course, episode 12, Night Shifters. Uh, this episode, I remember watching it for the first time around and just enjoying it from start to finish. There's nothing about this episode that I actually dislike. I think it's one of the best episodes of Supernatural. I think it's one of the best episodes of TV ever. You know, there are some instances and some cases where I'll say that quite a bit uh, during the run of these reviews for each season. There's bound to be at least one per season. Um, for me, Night Shifters is just brilliant. Um, you know, similar to Skin last season, which I know I think I put on as part of like one of my favourites from that season. Definitely ups the ante here. Um, because you have the whole thing with the bank and the vault and um, the skinwalker in this instance. Um, Night Shifters just brings a little bit more to it. And of course it does continue the whole law thing within uh, Supernatural of the boys having to avoid the law. Uh, in this instance, we get, um, you know, the introduction of the detective that chases them down. Uh, unfortunately, I can't remember his name. Um, but, you know, it, it brings in a lot of beats. And the use of the song, um, Renegade, is it? I might have to double check that. Because um, I know I've got the song on my phone. Um, but the use of this song is just amazing. I think it's by the Renegades. Um, but what they're doing is, ju you know, just pure brilliant. Um, I absolutely love this episode. And there's nothing to hate about it. You know, Ron, Paul Ron and his laser eyes. Um, not his laser eyes, the, ship, the shifter's laser eyes. Um, not Skinwalker, sorry. Um, but a shapeshifter. And it's just, it's just pure brilliant. There's nothing to dislike about this episode whatsoever. And, you know, it definitely makes for a better season with episodes like this. Um, the next one I want to talk about is an emotional one. You definitely get some man tears in this episode. Um, season 2's episode 17, which is Heart. And this is the first instance where Sammy seems to actually fall for a woman. Obviously, we've had the RT. Um, again, names aren't my forte in this instance. But, um, of course, in a previous... I think it was the last season we had the, the episode with the picture. Um, and that was sort of, sort of the first person that Sam got comfortable with. But in this episode, he falls for this woman. And she ends up being a werewolf. She ends up being the problem of the episode. Um, and it's very sad to watch. Um, especially how things turn out in the end that Sam has to kill her. Um, simply because, obviously, they could not find the original werewolf that, you know, cuts off the line sort of thing. It is unfortunate and it's very sad. And I have cried quite a few times. Um, there's some other key points in the episode that I actually love. The dynamic between Sam and Dean in this episode as well. Um, and just the fact that the way Dean reacts to his brother being so upset and so heartbroken. And it just shows how much they love each other. It's, it's, it's something that, you know, I think that definitely ups the ante with this series, which we'll get onto in a bit. Um, but it definitely ups the ante in this series in the instance of Sam and Dean and how they deal with things, especially early on. 
Now, obviously, there is a bad to every season. There's always going to be the odd episode which just doesn't resonate with fans or sometimes just the personal opinion of one person. In, in my personal opinion, that is episode 16, Roadkill. It's just a little bit of a bore. You know, we have Charlotte from Lucifer. Again, not remembering any character names or anything like that, actress, actress names. Unfortunately, this episode does not do it for me. Like I said, it's a bit of a bore. The twist I saw coming from a mile away. Which, you know, there are other shows and there are films that have done this before and they've done it slightly better. However, for me, this episode just it just takes it away, slows everything down, slows the pacing down of the series, of the show, and just brings it down to just this small story that's uninteresting to me. And unfortunately, that's the reason why Roadkill does get the bad of the season. Now on to the ugly side of the series. In this instance, you know, sometimes when I say the ugly side, it may be in relation to... You know, I've said it in the last video, I've said it in some of the Buffy videos. The ugly side does not necessarily say that it's a bad thing on the series point. It's just that sometimes the ugly could be in relation to a story. Sometimes the ugly can be in relation to a terrible episode. In this instance, this is just the story. And that is, of course, the whole demon deal for Dean and John at the start of the series. John at the start of the series, Dean at the end of the series. So, you know, it's just, it's it's very ugly. In the instance of not being a bad thing, it's very good for story-driven things. I think the first episode does it brilliantly in the fact that, you know, we've finally found John. We've come to a point where we, we know that John's okay, that Dad is okay, and then we lose him all over again sort of thing. And that is something that I think they do so well to write off a character that we've barely seen, you know, he, he, he gets, what, six, seven episodes throughout the series, I think, but the, the way season one ends, you know, and it, and it pushes forward season two, and the story pushes forward, but just the way they do it with John's deal is just so heartbreaking because he's doing it to save Dean as well also when we come to uh, Dean making a deal for Sam just like daddy trying to save somebody he loves you know trying to save his brother in this instance and the way Dean deals with death is definitely something that's a big part of the series um, going forward the way Dean reacts to death for instance, you know, when when John dies, when Dad dies, he is, he's, he's dealing it in a way that, like, you know, he doesn't like being asked if he's okay. He doesn't want to talk about it. He wants to get some work done. He wants to get into it and just completely forget about the fact and hide away from the fact that he's lost his dad. He's not a soppy git. He doesn't want to sit there and talk about his feelings. Like, you know, like, like a saying goes... Throughout the series, no chick flip moments. And in this instance, for Dean, this is the biggest chick flip moment that could appear. Um, it, it's brilliantly done and brilliantly dealt with. And I absolutely love every single moment of it. Um, Sam's death is another ugly side of the series as well. And the ugly moment in the series, just purely for, again, storytelling. I love it. And I love the way they handle it. And the fact that, you know, Sam's death comes at the hands of a fellow man that's been uh, pushed through by a yellow eyes uh, for his agenda, for the war and the apocalypse and everything like that that's coming up in later seasons is all, you know, it's so poetic. It's so brilliantly done. Um, and I absolutely love it through and through. So that's my talk for the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I've, I've pretty much touched upon the series in general with the ugly. Like I said before, I absolutely love the way this series 
takes a little bit of a turn in this this season. You know, the boys are finally out on their own. They're finally down to the actual family business. You know, hunting things, the family business, all of that, saving people, saving people, hunting things, the family business. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I got there in the end, but. You know, they finally get down to that in this season because that's all they have to focus on, you know? Dealing with Dad's death, dealing with having to continue on without any real close family except for, you know, the brotherly love between them. And I think the way it's dealt with throughout this season and throughout the rest of the series is just done so well and so perfectly. It could not be best. It it can't be messed with, you know. Um. Obviously, there are a few things that I've left out in this season that simply, you know, it's not important. I mean, we get new characters coming in like Joe and Aaron. Important characters, and Jesse, of course. Can't forget Jesse. Um. I think I've just called him by his Fast and Furious name and not by his supernatural name. But, um, or has it got the same name in both? That's an interesting one as well. I'm going to start actually getting my phone up with all this information and just writing it all down. But this season, I think, definitely ups the ante from the last season. Not saying that the last season was absolutely terrible, but it definitely ups the ante. For me, this season gets a full-on 9 out of 10. And the reason why I don't give it the full 10 it's simply down to roadkill and the fact that it just completely bores the hell out of me. There's a sort of similar episode in season three, which I think most people will disagree with me on this instance, with a certain episode that just doesn't resonate as well with me as it does with some of us, and takes it down uh, so late in, a, in the season three this episode that I'm talking about that obviously I will not say now because it will be mentioned in my next video um, when I talk about season three. But it's such a late, ep it's a late video, um, it's a late episode in the series that it's such... It's, this this one is definitely, Roadkill is definitely the worst out of the two episodes. It's But this episode of season three is just a lesser of two evil sort of thing. But it's just, for me, it doesn't work as well as some fans actually do favour this episode and think it's a great episode. But for me, it doesn't feel the same as the rest of the series. It does fall a little flat for me. But that's season three, and we'll come to that when we talk about season three. Um, but that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to stick with this structure just because I think it's easy for me to just sit and talk about the series. Um, and then when it comes to season 15, I'll do a big old video when we talk about the series in general um, and the series review sort of thing, we'll do a similar sort of thing to the way Supernatural did. But instead of it being like two different videos, i.e. two different episodes, it'll be the series finale and the season finale sort of thing. That's what it'll be like for me in my YouTube video. Area. It'll be one video. Um, but anyway, we are going to end it there. I thank you for listening. And... Um, yeah, please do join me for season three, uh, which will be coming next Friday. All being well and things don't go to shit like they have been recently. But anyway, I thank you for listening. I thank you for watching. I've been Scrivel. This has been Scrivel Sphere. And I'll see you next time, folks. Goodbye.